How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, our topic is on the meaning of our self-development or spiritual work. In my previous video, I talked about the meaning of meaning, how meaning comes from two sources. Meaning can come from life, or we can find meaning in imagination. When we derive meaning from imagination, we are functioning through our identification to our conscious thinking mind, through our personality. And when we derive meaning from life, we are functioning more through our essence, what is real and unchanging in us. When we start to sense the meaning that we derive from tapping into our essence, our self-development work, our spiritual work, can then become the greatest source of meaning for us. Which means we begin to see life as a means to work on ourselves. Our relationship to existence begins to change. The meaning of life changes for us because we no longer see life as an end, but as a means. So then we learn not to identify to life in our usual ways. And this is how life can become our teacher. We begin to understand that the meaning we get in this way can never be lost compared to the meaning we derive from imagination that sooner or later is destroyed since it's not based on anything real. But all this is very hard to realize at a deep level because when something unpleasant happens in our life, we usually don't take it from a self-development or a spiritual point of view. We revert back to reacting from how it touches our personality, our imagination, our acquired likes and dislikes. So we need to realize that it is very difficult to change as long as life and imagination are the sole source of meaning for us. We need to learn to think in new ways because to think in a new way is to discover new meanings. And these esoteric ideas that I share on my channel, they come from conscious humanity, and by being outside of life, they can help us discover new meaning and our relationship to life starts to alter. And in our inner space, new meanings can only enter when old meanings die and are let go. And it is through meaning that we are related to a thing or a person. If meaning starts to fade, then there will be no relationship. And if we begin to see life as a means for our self-development work, then everything can start to be a source of new meaning for us. And when new meaning enters our being, our functions, our centers, like our intellectual, emotional, and bodily centers, will start to function differently. More connections will be made between them, allowing us to be more conscious, more aware, and not behave so unconsciously as when we were living through our mechanical personality. So it is important that you properly value your self-development or spiritual work and understand the inexhaustible source of meaning that it can become for you and how it will alter your relationship to life, then you will be navigating through life more consciously, more meaningfully. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and please don't keep me a secret. Share with anyone who may find my content valuable. And wherever you are, until next time, Many blessings to you. Peace.